In the auto business, the big three traditionally refers to whatever form General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Chrysler currently take. However, since Stellantis has failed miserably to produce an all-electric car from September 2023 in the Tesla Model Y is among the top sellers. On planet Earth, we change the meaning of the term. The Model Y, a compact all-electric SUV, is the fourth vehicle released by Tesla. To say it's a success is an understatement, damn. The entire auto industry has built or is building compact electric SUVs to do battle with the Model Y. This includes the Ford Mustang, Mach-E and the all-new Chevrolet Blazer RS. Ford is first to market with the controversially named electric Mustang SUV. If you haven't heard the story, Ford decided to make the Mach-E as exciting as possible. And after taking a look at Dearborn, the Mustang was the sexiest thing anyone had ever seen. Hence the Mustang Mach-E. Hate whatever name you want, Ford has sold more than 80,000 Mach-S since 2021. Measuring within inches of a Tesla Model Y, the Ford is as much a two-row station wagon as an SUV, just 5.8 inches of ground clearance. The Mach-E we tested is a California Route 1 edition with a 91 kWh battery, 312 miles of range and all-wheel drive for $60,895. The Chevrolet Blazer, the Motor Trend SUV of the year, is the first vehicle to go on sale, followed by GM's Ultium EV platform, the Hummer EV and the Cadillac Lyric. The futuristic-looking Blazer is bigger than both the Tesla and Ford and feels more spacious inside. The Blazer is also heavier than the other two, which partly contributes to its shorter range, 279 miles, the EPA says. It also doesn't come with a glass roof, which many will interpret as a nice touch in our increasingly hot world. Although some will miss the view, neither is Chevy's cause for outrage. There is deep storage under the rear compartment, but still. Finally, although our test subject was AWD, the Blazer can be ordered as FWD, AWD, or RWD. It is unique among passenger cars. Our test Blazer RS has a sticker price of $64,230. The 2023 Tesla Model Y Long Range is the newest member of our ever-growing fleet of long-range test EVs. On paper, the Model Y looks like a clear winner in some key metrics. It's the lightest of the bunch, more than 300 pounds lighter than the Ford and nearly 800 pounds lighter than the Chevy. The Mustang is faster than the others, if not faster than the Mach-E. However, it has the shorter wheelbase of the two, about 8 inches less than the Blazer, which affects cabin space. However, it has a fantastic frunk. Then there is the price. At $71,630 as tested, it's significantly more expensive than the others. Note that a full $15,000 of that price is Tesla's misleadingly named full self-driving program. Get past that noise and you're talking more than $5,000 less than the Ford. Numbers upon numbers aside from price, range is the most important number in the EV world. Since driving range is usually directly related to the size of the battery. The amount of lithium sitting underneath is also important. As mentioned, the 2024 Chevrolet Blazer RS has the lowest range here, clocking in at 279 miles by the EPA. It achieves this with an 85 kWh battery pack. There's also a front-wheel drive version with a range of 320 miles on the same battery. The 2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E has a range of 312 miles and goes that far with a 91 kWh battery. Here's the kicker, the 2023 Tesla Model Y long range can travel 330 miles on a single charge. But it has the smallest battery of the three SUVs, at just 84.6 kWh. 
Just looking at the ratios, if the Ford was as inefficient as the Chevy, it would need a 95 kilowatt hours pack to cover 312 miles. If the Tesla had the same efficiency as the Ford, it would require a 96 kilowatt hours pack. Interestingly, the EPA rates the Blazer at 96 mpge, the Mustang at 98 mpge, and the Model Y at 122 mpge. But here's the thing. When you have more than 250 miles of range, it's basically a non-issue in most use cases. Granted, if you're commuting for a living, the extra miles the Tesla gives you over the Chevy are worth considering. But if, like most people, you drive your kid to school, then go to the office, pick up your kid, then go to piano lessons, go to the grocery store, and go home, you just don't need a big line. Especially if you have a charger at home. However, we applaud Tesla for being so efficient and raise an eyebrow at General Motors for having the least efficient car in our test. In terms of performance, the Model Y is better than the other two. And the Ford is ahead of the Chevy. Watch 0 to 60 times. We're talking 6.0 seconds for the Blazer RS, 4.8 seconds for the Mustang Mach-E and just 4.5 seconds for the Model Y. It's the same story with the Blazer at 4 miles. It hits 93.1 miles per hour in 14.8 seconds, the Mach-E in 13.4 seconds at 105.2 miles per hour, and the Model Y in just 12.9 seconds while traveling at 112.9 miles per hour. Those times are largely explained by the power each car produces. 288 horsepower and 333 pound-feet of torque for the Chevy, 346 horsepower and 428 pound-feet for the Ford, and 384 horsepower and 375 pound-feet for the Tesla. Need or want more? All three automakers will gladly sell you a more powerful version, including the, soon, Blazer SS, Mach-E GT, and Model Y Performance. Even if you look at Ford and Tesla's 5 second 60 miles per hour times, how much more power do you need in real life?